Okay guys, I'm super stoked for this video because I just found out that this game that was like the best game in the world when I was in elementary school exists on the internet to play for free and I'm so excited. This was not just, you know, cool because it was at school and it was the closest thing you got to cool, you know, because you were at school. No, this game is just awesome. This game is the best game ever. So I'm on a site called classicreload.com and this is Oregon Trail. Best game ever. Okay. This game is just, ah, just the best, just the best, the best, the best, the best. We only got to play this maybe once a year. And that was if we were super lucky. Like we never got to play this game. Okay. This was the biggest deal ever, 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 ever. And I have never even come close to winning. I have always just died. Always. So you get to choose what your profession is. Okay. So let's, let's, I don't know if I've ever looked to see what the difference between the choices is. Traveling to Oregon isn't easy, but if you're a banker, you'll have more money for supplies and services than a carpenter or a farmer. However, the harder you have to try, the more points you deserve. Therefore, the farmer earns the greatest number of points and the banker earns the least. Well, I've never survived, so we're going to go ahead and be a banker. <laughs> See if that helps. What is the first name of the wagon leader? Mom Bob. Yeah. And we've got Dad Bob on our wagon, and we've got Angie Bob, and we've got Grandma Bob. Oh. Okay, we'll have to go Grand Ba. No, we'll go Ma Bob. Ma Bob. And we'll go Paul Bob for Grandpa Bob. Okay. Yes, they're correct. It's 1848. Your jumping off place for Oregon is Independence, Missouri. You must decide which month to leave Independence. March, April, May, June, July, or ask for advice. Now, I know enough about this to know you don't want to leave later in the year because you're going to freeze to death. So I, March, where I live, is still really, really, really cold. So I'm going to go April. We're going to start there. Before leaving Independence, you should buy equipment and supplies. You have $1,600. Wow, bankers are rich. In cash, but you don't have to spend it all now. You don't want to spend it all now because sometimes there's ferries across big rivers and stuff, and you want money for that. So you can buy whatever you need at Matt's General Store. Okay, blah, blah, blah. He's telling you this is the stuff he sells. So we definitely need oxen. And there's two oxen and a yoke, and he recommends that he get, you get at least three yoke. And he charges $40 for a yoke, so $40 is two oxen, and he says get at least three. So we're going to get three because this is a big part of what you buy is the oxen. Let's go and get spare parts next because stuff's always breaking when you're on the trail. So how many wagon wheels? We'll go two, two axles, and two tongues. Okay. Uh, let's go ammunition, because you always run out of food when you're on the trail. And 20 bullets. We'll go three boxes, because that's 60 shots. I'm a pretty good hunter on this game, because I'm just awesome like that. Yeah. Clothing. You'll need warm clothing in the mountains, I recommend. I n I've never made it to the mountains, ever. I recommend taking at least two sets of clothes per person. Each set is $10. So if I have five people, he's saying I need 10 sets of clothes, which is $100. But I have a lot of money because I'm a banker. So we're going to go ahead and do 10 sets of clothes. And then we need food. And food is cheapest here. It gets more expensive as you go down the road. So you want at least 200 pounds of food for each person in your family. So a minimum is you want um, a thousand pounds of food because I've got five people in my family. So I'm going to go, oh, this is hard. I'm going to go 1500 and see if I can even carry that much weight. Okay. So I've spent 586. I have 1600. That should be good. Okay. weather is cool, our health is good, our pace is steady, and our rations are filling. The first thing we're going to do is change our food rations to, well, no, let's keep them at filling. Because as soon as you go meager, people start getting sick. 
let's see. We'll look. I'll show you guys the map. Show you where we are. We are right here in Independence, Missouri. So if you're familiar with the American map, we're about halfway across the country already. So it took off half the country, and I still, I, I always die like clear over here. The furthest I've ever made it, I think, is about here. Okay. So let's see. Let's continue on the trail. From Independence, it is 102 miles to the Kansas River crossing. Okay, we should be good. Let's just go. So I've got 1,500 pounds of food. I always watch the food. Uh oh, Ma Bob has a fever. Now, a fever today is not a big deal, but back then, it could kill you. Right now, the health's still good, so we're just going to keep going, and I'm going to watch this. And make sure it doesn't get worse. Still got lots of food, so we're doing good there. Okay, we're now at the Kansas River crossing. Would you like to look around? I would like to look around. This is, this music, it's so painful. This is the Kansas River crossing. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and continue. Well, let's. Our health is still good, even though Mamba, Ma Bob had a fever. So let's continue on the trail. The river crossings are always dangerous. So the river at this point is 629 feet across and 4.9 feet deep in the middle. So that's, I mean, that's pretty deep. It's almost five feet deep and 600 feet is a long way across. So let's see how much the ferry is. He will charge you $5 and you will have to wait six days. Are you willing to do this? Yes. Because if you crash your boat in the water, oh my gosh, you lose everything. The last time I actually played this today on my phone and when I, I crashed because I didn't have money for the ferry, I was playing as the farmer and everybody in my party died except for me and I lost a lot of supplies. The Kansas River crossing is 82 miles from the Big Blue River crossing. I have good health, still got a lot of food. Let's go. Okay, we got it. I like my little my little oxen. Do, 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 do. It's a good thing we got so many oxen if I'm carrying that much food. You're now at the big blue river crossing. Would you like to look around? Of course. Um, it's music. It hurts. <laughs> okay. Health is good. Rations are filling. Let's see if anybody wants to trade. Another emigrant wants one wagon axle and he'll trade 34 pounds of food. No. Uh, let's continue on the trail. You must cross the river. The river at this point is 228 feet across, but it's only two feet deep. Two feet is not very much at all. So we're gonna go ahead and try to just ford the river, which means just walk across with your oxen and your wagon. Hopefully I won't tip. Please don't tip. This is like so stressful. Yes, we made it. It was a muddy crossing, but you did not get stuck. I don't care if I get stuck. I just don't want to tip. Okay, let's continue on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. A thief comes during the night and steals 47 pounds of food. Well, I still have a lot of food. So if you're really that hungry, you can have my food, thief. You go ahead and take it. Oh, I see a, like a schoolhouse looking thing. It's probably a fort. So got Dad Bob has dysentery. That's not a good thing. Lots of times people die from dysentery. So we're gonna push enter and we're going to stop and rest because Dad Bob has dysentery. We're gonna rest for two days and see if that helps him. Okay. Now let's continue. Oh, for health is fair. So he's not like crazy sick, but he's not good either. Okay. You're now at Fort Kearney. Of course I want to. Okay. Let's see if we can buy some supplies. We still got a lot of money. Um, we haven't lost anything yet, but the food is still pretty cheap here. So let's buy some more food. Um, I think I had about a thousand pounds of food still. So let's buy like 300 here. No, it's still pretty cheap here. Let's buy 500. Did I get food? I must, because my number went down. 
8 leaf store. Continue on trail. Yes, I got food. Okay. Let's go to Chimney Rock. I'm a little worried about Dad Bob because he has dysentery. So I'm watching that health that's fair. I'm watching it really close. Dysentery kills people all the time. It can make other people sick too. Oh good. He's 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 better now. He's all better now, so let's just keep going. We're making about twenty miles a day, that's good. Haven't hit any bad weather. Let's see if anybody wants to trade. Wants one wagon axle and she'll trade me a set of clothing? No. Let's see if anybody else wants to trade. He wants three sets of clothing and he'll trade me an ox. Uh, that, that seems like a pretty reasonable trade. I'll do that. Okay, let's continue on the trail. We're going to Fort Laramie. I see the fort. I see the fort. This is the best I've ever done this on this game ever. You guys must be good luck. Good, good luck. You pass a grave site. Of course I want to look. Here lies Voland. Hey, 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 come out and play. Uh, that's a little creepy. We're going to hurry and leave before Voland becomes a zombie. Of course I want to look around. <laughs> okay. Let's see if anybody wants to trade. Who wants 63 pounds of food and he'll trade me a wagon axle. I got enough wagon axles. Sorry, dude. Let's see if anybody else wants to trade. One wagon axle, 31 pounds of food. No. Um, let's just go ahead and continue. I think we're doing pretty good. We're going to go to Independence Rock. Uh, and still six oxen. Six? That thief needs to be punched in the face. I am not okay with that. That means I'm down to two oxen. Bad water. We're not going to be making fast progress because I've only got two oxen. One of the oxen is injured. Okay, um, yeah. We are going to stop and rest because we've only got two oxen. And we're going to rest for three days. And hopefully that will help the oxen. Oh... I wish I could like, you know, type in like check on oxen. Let's go pace, change the pace because we had an injured oxen. Oh, I can't go any slower than a steady pace. Okay, um, let's continue. Poor little oxen, not enough grass. Oh good, we found some grass. We're getting a little low on food. We're going to have to hunt soon. In fact, let's just go ahead and hunt now. Oh, I missed. That was a waste of a bullet. The, the secret with this is to just be patient. Wait for things to come to you. Don't waste your shots. So the deer are usually worth like 50 pounds of meat and you can usually carry about 100 back to the wagon. I was going to call it a trailer. It's not a trailer. So yeah, we got 50 pounds of meat. So that helps. Let's continue. Let's hunt again. I wish you could carry back more meat than just 100 pounds. If you shoot a buffalo, they're worth, like, so much weight. See? Now watch. I'm not going to shoot anything else because it's just a waste. If you shoot, like, the rabbits and the squirrels and stuff, it's, like, 2 pounds, 5 pounds. It's not even worth a bullet. So I just have to wait until my hunting trip is over. I like how the deer look like Rudolph. See, it was 896 pounds of meat, but you only get to take 100 back to the wagon. Okay, let's continue on the trail. Oh, severe thunderstorm. 
Let's continue. I'm guessing it's not going to be good to hunt in a thunderstorm. Okay. It's rainy, very rainy. Rainy. Warm. Let's go hunting again. I don't want to get too low on food. I probably need to reduce rations at this point. do not like where it put me and I'm wasting bullets there's a way to walk but I don't re remember how does it shift I'm sure it told me on the instruction page but who would read the instruction page that would require intelligence and foresight oh I went a buffalo buff 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 buffalo I didn't shoot anything okay um we need to change food rations. We're not going to go filling anymore. We're going to go meager. Okay, let's continue on the trail because we're blowing through our food too fast. Pa Bob has the measles. Grandpa Bob has the measles. We're going to go ahead and continue. Watch that health. Make sure it doesn't get too bad. Let's hunt. How, how do you walk? point the rifle, to point the rifle, to fire the rifle. To start or stop walking is the enter key. Okay. Okay, we got a deer. Okay, that's enough. That will be all of the weight I can carry. Let's practice walking. Hoo hoo hoo, look at me. I read. Let's go sniff the flowers. Sniff sniff. Okay, let's continue on the trail. Keep an eye on that health so that we don't lose Grandpa Bob because I'd be sad if my daddy died. Hailstorm. Oh, we got wild fruit. Let's go ahead and hunt again. When I was a kid and I'd play this, I'd always shoot as many animals as I could and you'd have like six, not really 6,000, but you'd have a ton of food that you couldn't carry back and it was just all a waste because you shoot like, because you shot like five buffalo. Come on, Annie Mollies. Where are you? Annie Mollies. I can't believe nobody's died yet. This is not your average game of Oregon Trail, because usually by this point I've lost quite a few people. Let's continue on the trail. Hailstorm. It's August already. Pa Bob broke his leg. Sorry, we can't stop. It's August already. Grandpa Bob's not having a very good luck. I have the measles. Sorry, we can't stop. Very little water. Inadequate grass. Broken wagon tongue. Would you like to try to repair it? Every time I say yes, and I don't think it's ever worked. See, we're unable to repair the wagon tongue. Okay. Let's hunt for food. Goodbye, little rabbit. You don't do me any good. <sighs> there was a deer. And a rabbit. It's getting late enough in the year that if this is accurate, it's going to end up... I'm going to lose my prey animals. They're going to stop running past me. Oh, I was too slow. I was going to shoot right then. We better continue. I want to rest because we're not doing well health-wise. Dad Bob has cholera. Okay, we better rest. Because we can't let Dad Bob die in real life. The only reason any of us would be alive is Dad Bob. Stop to rest. Six. How many days would you like to rest? Two. Okay, we, we got we to gotta keep going. 
Oh good, we found some wild fruit. We're getting really low on food. We better hunt. The rabbits are really hard to hit. They're too fast. Kabod, I need some meat. No more buffalo? I need me a buffalo. See, I'm going to be stuck with only rabbits and squirrels, and rabbits and squirrels are not going to fill us up. We're all going to die. All of us. Yep. Not hunting well. I have a fever. Somebody's going to die. Somebody's going to die. Angie Bob has some measles. Somebody's going to die. Somebody's going to die. Fire in the wagon results in the loss of a wagon wheel and a wag flax. So, got to keep going. We gotta keep going. Oh, I found an abandoned wagon with a clothing, bullets, wagon wheel, and a wagon tongue. That's good. Let's keep going. Oh, we're getting low on food. We still got a long way to go. We're only making like one mile a day, three miles a day. A snake bite. Are you serious, Dad Bob? Dad Bob hates snakes. <sighs> it's not gonna do any good to wait. Sit around with a snake bite. He's either going to die or he's not. Good, we need fruit. Dad Bob died. Dad Bob died. It didn't let me bury him. Still 79 pounds of food. You can't have my food. Ugh, I'm turning it into a redneck because we're all going to die. We're all going to die. Yep, one of the oxen just dies. So I'm down to one. One oxen. I really need to get this last 74 miles. Okay, we're going to have to... I have no oxen to pull my wagon. I have <laughs> Attempt to trade. Let's see if we can get an oxen from anybody. No one wants to trade with me today. Who wants one ox? I know I don't have an ox. I need an ox. No, I don't want to trade wagon parts. I need an ox. <laughs> yes. I don't, do I have three wagon tongues? Yes, I need an oxen. Okay. Uh, and we need to change food rations to bare bones because we're going to run out. And let's continue on the trail. We got to get to a fort so, so that I can get some, some, some. Oh, that's great. I'm glad I have the measles. That's fantastic. I don't care. We're all starving. We don't care if we're naked. We just need to get, oh my gosh, that's great. I'm so glad I broke my arm. That's, that's fantastic. Paul Bob is lost. <laughs> he wandered off. <laughs> we need to get to the fort. It better be a fort that we're getting to and not some stupid landmark. I broke my other arm. That's great. Wrong trail, lose two days. That's great. I only have 65 pounds of food. I'm not doing well. Very little water. Oh my goodness. There's not going to be anything to hunt out here. We need the fort. Oh, Angie. How many times can you get the measles? Oh, we're going to die. We're going to die. We're going to die. 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 Oh, good. We found some fruit. We needed that. Independence Rock. What does the good does a rock do me? Let's look around. Isn't this great? This is where we're all going to die. I don't care about that stuff. I need food. I know. I need I need food. No, why would I have 200 bullets? No, I don't care about wagon parts. No, I know I don't have that. You know what? Y'all suck. Uh... Okay. I've got five pounds of food. Bob Bob has a fever. I'm in so much trouble. Hunt for food. We're going from squirrels shooting. Anything? Are we going to have tree for dinner? I'll take tree at this point. Oh my goodness. Can't I? Ooh, that was a boof, though. 
That was a boof 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 loo. Dang it. Okay, let's try again. Let we 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 need some food. We have absolutely nothing. Okay. There, I got a dang diddly squirrel. Boofaloo! Boofaloo! Nope. No, stop shooting bullets for no reason, Mom Bob. Freaking fracking squirrel. I'm, you're gonna give me five pounds of meat. You're gonna keep teasing me with these buffalo on the edge of the screen. Two pounds of meat. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're we're just gonna die. We're just gonna die. Let's go. We got no food. Paul Bob has died. Press enter to size up the situation. Let's try to hunt again, I guess. Cause I killed my father. Killed my father. I let him starve to death after he done diddly got lost. I'm in so much trouble. I'm in so much trouble. <gasps> dear, dear, dear. Die, dear. Thank you, dear. Die, dear. Okay, we got some food. Let's continue. <laughs> I'm so screwed. We're all gonna die. We're all gonna die. Severe blizzard. We're in blizzard weather already. <laughs> I thought I left early enough. And we were rich. <laughs> this game is stressful. Broken wagon wheels. Sure, let's try to repair it. Maybe the snow can fix it. I was able to repair it. It actually happens sometimes. Whatever. Keep going. We're in so much trouble. We're in so much trouble. There's snow on the ground. I'm not going to be able to hunt anything. Maybe some bears will come out. <laughs> that's great. I'm so glad I lost two days. That That's great. Let's hunt for food. Yeah, let's do that. Come on. Oh, little bunny rabbit. Come on, I need something. Oh my goodness. Ah, no, I was facing it too. Come back. Come back, little beefalo. Come back. Yeah, I know. I didn't get any food. Okay. Nobody wanted to eat anyway. We, we're, we're all having fun not eating, okay? That's great. Let's try to hunt again. Shoot that buffalo. Alright. We got some food. If only I could carry it all back. Because see, in reality, we'd be like, oh, we're all starving to death and we're in the snow. So let's go ahead and stay here and just keep bringing back more and more and more and more meat so we don't starve to death. But no, let's be dumb and only take a hundred pounds back and just leave the rest of it. Because, you know, it's so easy to get meat. So easy to get food. Gosh dang it. No, I don't want no 100 pounds. I want the 940. <sighs> We're all going to die. We're all going to die. Broken wagon tongue. Yeah, let's try to repair it. I was able to. Apparently you need snow to be able to repair stuff. Very little water. Bad water. Comes and steals the sets of clothing. Good for you. I don't care. Oh, I have cholera. That's great. Angie Bob has fever. That's great. Angie Bob died. No more Angie Bob. Goodness. Goodness, goodness, goodness. Oh, I died. <laughs> and apparently they're going on without me, even though I was the leader. All right, then. Let's keep going. Uh, yay. Very little water. Bad water. Very little water. Inadequate grass. Very little water. Inadequate grass. Inadequate grass. Very little water. Very little water. Inadequate grass. The food's lasting a lot longer now. Uh, I thought I died. Maybe it was Ma Bob that died. I have dysentery. Yes, Angie, you died. I'm playing the Oregon Trail. 
No. She wants to make elephant toothpaste while I'm playing the Oregon Trail. You died. Sorry. You died. You... No. Yeah, I'm not going to turn you loose to make elephant toothpaste while I'm playing Oregon Trail and I already killed you. No. No, we're not doing elephant toothpaste right now. We're in the middle of a blizzard. Sure, you can have a snack. Even though we've only got 17 pounds of food left. She's over here yelling. Yeah, let's look around at Santa Pass. Oh, look how happy everybody is, even though we're starving to death. And freezing to death. Hmm, let's see if anybody wants to trade. I have a lot of bullets. I don't, I'm not going to give you my ox. <laughs> I'm not going to give you my one and only ox. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to give you something I don't have. I don't want bullets. <sighs> Let's look at the map. Let's see where we are. See, I never make it much past here. Cause I'm gonna die, it's already winter and I'm gonna die, gonna die, gonna die, yeah. Oh, that's not very Sigma of you. Oh, Angie says that's not very Sigma of me, but she doesn't know. She's already dead. We're gonna go for Fort Bridger cause we're not doing good. We only got seven pounds of food. We still got 125 miles, we're dead. Yep, let's try to repair it. Oh, okay. Okay, we have to trade for one. Attempt to trade. Nope. Attempt to trade. Nope. Attempt to trade. I don't need wagon wheels. Nope. Attempt to trade. I don't need wagon wheels. I don't need bullets. My goodness. I don't need bullets. I don't need clothes. I don't need bullets. I don't need clothes. Goodness, goodness, goodness. I don't need wagon wheels. Oh my goodness. Don't need wagon wheels. Don't need bullets. Oh my goodness. I have dysentery. I died. Would you like to write an epitaph? Yes. What would you like on the tombstone? Died of dysentery and too much money. Would you like to make changes? No. All the people in your party have died. Press space bar to continue. Well, that's Oregon Trail. And you should totally play it because it's stressful and you can never win. But it's still super fun. Okay, bye.